as a student of peace and security, vulnerability is something that is usually used when there's reporting in, by the UN. Yeah. And that's because women and children are reported as being a vulnerable group. We're classed as the vulnerable groups. And in UN reporting, you, you can tell that about 79% of women are at risk of being exploited when it comes to war, wartime or conflict situations. So mm. in that regard, you would say that women are vulnerable. But when you're vulnerable, it doesn't mean you're weak. It just means you're exposed to certain risks. I think even vulnerability pushes you to do more. Yeah. And it could be a position which you can take to strengthen you, a position of courage, a position of strengthening you to do more. So it depends on the viewpoints. Vulnerability is something that uh, um, construct and when you're doing um, theories of female, female theories or feminist theories, there are some words that are used that we as, um, we as uh, students of gender would say uh, what makes women become more vulnerable because when you use words such as women are vulnerable, women are weak, then it reinforces the patriarchy. Yeah, yeah. And these are some of the words that we would prefer are not used when referring to women. Even just using men to represent women. You know, there are a lot of laws, there are a lot of um, statutes, there are a lot of um, documents that say men, that only refer to men or he, without mentioning she. Yeah. I, I like to revise it all the time. I, I keep on saying he or she. Yeah. Then, especially in court, some the, um, th sometimes the judges or even my colleague lawyers would say, he, me, she. And I'm like, no, I would prefer that we are represented. So I would put he or she. Yeah. So wording is very powerful. Oh, how Words about we change it are very to powerful. she means he. Exactly. Why I don't not? Think that would sit, <laughs> I don't think that would sit very well. Um, exactly. Yeah. 